Hi, my name is Tyler, and you're watching the Trucker Josh Vlogs YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, and or subscribe, and turn on that bell so you don't miss an upload. Enjoy the video. Good morning everybody. We're starting today off with some mail that we got from Josh. You guys gotta sit. Did he send you some gifts? Oh, okay. I think he's from Minnesota. Correct I, me if I'm wrong, Josh, but... I think this is a squirrel, so I think appropriately so. It oh. should go to Kizu. He loves squirrels. Chevy, yours is coming. His eyes are just bulging. Yours is coming. Okay, and then we got a... Oh my. Toyga? Look at that Chevy. What color is you? Oh, <laughs> it's Frank's. Okay. What else we got? Frank got the tiger. Okay. We got a skunk. Although that would have been appropriate for Diesel as well. Now Chevy, this isn't food. You don't eat this. But we do appreciate you getting the non-stuffed toys. Yes. Because uh, our golden boy likes to eat stuffing. So appreciate that. Oh, there's a cow for He's the weasel. A cow. I will be so careful with him. So careful. <laughs> Wiener. Foxy Loxy. Give me that. <laughs> Where is it? Where's the squeaker? Go yes. take this. Yes. Die. <laughs> I'm gonna take him over here and tear him to shreds. In my bit. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks. So Thanks. Much. Yeah, we got that in our mailbox. Yeah. So vicious. <sighs> Frank just wants every toy that everyone else has. He's got two of his own, but I want that one. He usually puts them in a circle in the bed and sits on them. Diesel, where's your cow? You're already chewing off a leg, buddy. He's safe. He's over there. I got him. Don't worry. We are bobtailing. We're going to bobtail down to Thief River Falls, Minnesota. There's the loaded trailer there waiting for us. It's got six drops on it. Not very often we have a multi-dropper like that. <coughs> we're gonna go pick it up, we're gonna go bring it where it's supposed to be. It's gonna be fun. Leaving later in the afternoon today because I only need to get a short distance. I'm excited to see how my lights are all gonna look at night though. They look pretty good during the day. Don't worry, I'll show you in a bit. I gotta stop for fuel yet. I got the two front fender lights working as well. I had to replace them. I was going to check the bolts on uh, my old marker lights that were on the fenders. <laughs> Everything's so old, every bolt I try to take off just breaks off. The bolts just broke right off. So I had no choice. I had to spend the time today to replace my marker lights. Every single bolt broke off. There's two bolts that hold on each marker light. All four broke. But don't worry, the new lights came with their own. So now they'll be good for another couple of million kilometers. A million or so miles before I have to replace them. The lights on the fenders aren't as bright as I thought they might be, but maybe that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. The ones on top of the cab are definitely a little bit brighter, but I like the look of it anyway, so I'll show you in a bit. These ones have like a spotlight. Once you get into it, it's like pow, right there. 
I thought it would be a little bit brighter, but uh, you know, I'm so happy with that. It does its job, right? You can still tell that it's flashing and that it's on. I mean, I, I think that's a win. I have uh, these down here as well. But yeah, I think they're doing their job very well. I like that it has the visors. That's why I got them, right? I like them. I mean, the truck's dirty right now. I need to wash, but I can definitely tell they're brighter because I can see it's not even dark yet, and I can already see the front of the hood being lit up by them from in the cab. So there. Oh, here you can see sort of like how it's like I told you it's like a spotlight. It just shoots like a from both directions. So if you're right in the line of sight of it, and you come like over here, where is it? There it is. Oh, oh, there it is. Boom, boom, right in the face, right. No, is it just me? Am I the only one that notices those things? So I'm just here at the scale. Uh, there's nobody here. But uh, this is the corner of Highway 59 and uh, 52 in Manitoba. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm bobtailing all the way down to the US to uh, pick up a trailer. Uh, they wanted me to possibly take a trailer down if there was a trailer that wasn't all frozen. All the trailers were frozen. Uh, so here we are. <laughs> there wasn't any good trailers to be able to take down. So I'm bobtailing. Gotta go pick up this trailer and then we're gonna go straight to uh, deliver it instead of bringing it back here. Six drops. It's gonna be fun. My mom dropped by the shop while I was working on it there today and uh, brought me some oranges, which I'm very thankful for. But I had to quickly eat them because I can't take those across the border. They don't like fruit at the border. You're not allowed to take fresh fruit across the border, even though these oranges most likely originated in the US and then were shipped to Canada, sold here. I'm not allowed to take them back. They don't want them back. Fine, more oranges for me. So it's probably not dark enough for you to see it on the camera yet, but right at the tip of my hood there, the Kenworth sign back with lit up amber from these lights above. The old lights didn't do that. Fueling up at the Loves here in Drayton, North Dakota. 
and then we're gonna head east towards Thief River Falls. Looks like the fuel price has gone up a little bit. It's now four dollars twenty-nine cents per U.S. gallon. road for 19 kilometers still a whole lot cheaper than up in Canada a whole lot cheaper not even close I got a half tanks right now I'm probably gonna save close to a hundred and fifty dollars by fueling here on this trip is supposed to be pretty mild so I'm not too worried about my fuel or anything in the cold temperature numbers for you it's actually lower today than last time uh, last time we were here at loves I was talking about the fuel prices being so much cheaper here fuel prices in Canada are still sitting at two dollars and six cents per liter uh, last time we were here last week on December 29th I guess that'd be last year we fueled for four dollars 35 cents US per US gallon which equaled a dollar 56 per liter Canadian with the conversions Today, we filled up for $4.29 US per US gallon, and that equals $1.53 Canadian per liter in CAD. I filled up for 84.001 US gallons, so I'm just going to times that by the liters. That was 317.978 liters cost me four hundred and eighty seven dollars and twenty six cents four hundred and eighty seven dollars and twenty six cents Canadian okay so let's figure out how much money did I save by fueling up here today because I could have fueled up in Canada right let's let's see this let's educate ourselves eh okay so a dollar fifty three is still two dollars and six cents per liter. Let's subtract this dollar fifty three. That's a difference of fifty three cents per liter times three seventeen point nine seven eight. I saved one hundred and sixty eight dollars and fifty three cents Canadian. That is a direct savings of one hundred and twenty four dollars and eighteen cents USD United States dollar. That was half tank. So if I had a full tank here, I would have saved. Uh, two hundred and fifty dollars, U.S. Fuel price gap is just wild right now. It's always cheaper in the U.S. I keep saying this, but this is like way cheaper right now, way cheaper. Even if my fuel were to gel up, I fuel up twice. It pays for my tow. <laughs> That's how much I'm saving. It doesn't even matter anymore. And plus the previous owner of the truck has reached out to me and said this truck has never had issues with fuel gelling and he's always used US fuel and never added any additives into the truck ever except except for once uh, he added kerosene in. he must have gelled up once in eight years of him having the truck I'd love to hear that story it was probably like minus 60 or something but this truck is very good in the winter is what he's saying i don't need fuel additives i don't need any gel additives in here the fuel return from the engine keeps the tanks very warm as long as i keep my tanks full don't have to worry about condensation building up in there and he was telling me yeah he fueled uh diesel number two in the states through every winter for eight years that's a lot of savings that's a lot of savings i've been driving a while 
I haven't been driving long compared to some people. There's always people more experienced than me, but uh, I am learning as I go. And if the fuel price is so much cheaper in the US than Canada, if we can't figure out how to get our fuel prices down in Canada, I'm gonna take my money and I'm gonna give it to the United States. Simple as that. I'm here to make money. I'm here to buy the cheapest fuel possible, as long as it's quality, and it's not gonna wreck my engine, obviously, but that's crazy. And I fuel up pretty much every day. That's at least, let's average it out to like, $200 per day that I'm saving. Two, four, six, eight, ten. A thousand dollars a week on a five day week. Four thousand dollars a month I can save just by fueling down here. Four thousand dollars. What can you do with four thousand dollars? I know I know a whole bunch of things I could do with four thousand dollars. And I'm not trying to tell you to go to the US and fuel. I'm not trying to sell that, but what are we supposed to do? Alright, and it's January 1st right now. We have a carbon tax that's being tripled on our fuel now. So our fuel prices are gonna go even higher in Canada, driving all of us truckers to spend our money into the US economy buying US fuel. Great for Americans, right? Bad for Canada. Jack up the prices, you don't... And we still have to drive the same amount, right? You put a special tax on our fuel, it doesn't make us drive less. We still have to deliver freight. We, we still have to drive the exact same amount. It doesn't reduce anything. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So leave it at that, right? I'm learning and uh, as it stands right now, I will be fueling in the US through winter. I have changed my viewpoints. I'm a changed man. Money speaks quite loudly. <laughs> America, you're winning my money. Good for you, congratulations. Canada, if you want my money, you're gonna have to do something about those fuel prices. I've picked up my load, I've tied it down. I have a 53 foot step deck behind me. I'm gonna go to a truck stop called, uh, I think it's called Lucky One or Lucky One Seven or Lucky Seven. It's in Swan River, Minnesota. Our first drop is in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. out on the road today it's technically a holiday when I'm filming this let's go make some money have I told you already six drops on this load First drop, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Just over the board from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, I believe. It's a nice winter evening. The trees are all white. We call that hoarfrost. Don't ask me why we call it that, but that's what, what it's called. It's called hoarfrost. I don't think it's the same thing as what you're thinking either. Pretty sure it's spelt differently. I'm no expert, but it sure makes everything look beautiful. Just got to sneak through town here and uh, I believe head down US 59. In 500 meters, turn right on 3rd Street East, US 59. I'll take you for a little cruise here through Thief River Falls in Minnesota, if you haven't gathered that. I come here quite often, so my regulars know where I am. In 200 meters, turn right on, and straight east, US 59.
drove pretty late. We're in Swan River, Minnesota. Not Swan River, Manitoba. There's also a Swan River in Manitoba. I'm not in that one. I'm in the Minnesota one. It's a lot smaller. But it's nice. It's nice you want to see. Very nice. It's very dark. Got a nice Volvo neighbor over there. Nice and quiet. Truck stop over here. It's not 24 hours though, I don't think. Though it might be. Either way, it's not that cold outside. Oh, what's the temperature out here? It's supposed to be pretty mild all week, so I'm not too worried about temperature on this trip, but I'm keeping my eye on it anyways. You always gotta keep your eye on the temperature when you're out here on the road. You have to know what you're driving into. Always be prepared. It's minus six outside right now, that's Celsius. And uh, tomorrow is supposed to be minus five. What is minus six Celsius in Fahrenheit? Minus six degrees Celsius is 21.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, there you have it, folks. It's 21 degrees outside in American units. I don't know why I brought the camera right close to my mouth when I was saying that to my phone. <laughs> it's time to go to bed. <laughs> ah, so we made it about uh, 300 kilometers or 200 miles from Thief River Falls. I uh, drove three hours. I think that's right. Yeah, I have 800 kilometers or so to do tomorrow, or 500 miles. Shouldn't have a problem doing that. We, uh, I was saying before, I didn't know if I was going through Wisconsin. The answer is yes, we are going through Wisconsin tomorrow. We're going to go through northern Wisconsin and into northern Michigan. And then cross from northern Michigan into northern Ontario at Sault Ste. Marie. A bit of a longer one this time than uh, I've been doing recently. Like I said, uh, I requested that for the next two and a half months and uh, I know I sound like a broken record, but uh, the baby's on the way and until then I'm gonna try to work as hard as I can and take whatever I can get because I'll be taking four weeks, maybe six weeks off. All depending, it's our first one you guys know uh, that watch me regularly. This is more so for the new people. It's our first uh, baby, so you know, a big learning curve for us. I might need the six weeks just so that we can, you know, figure ourselves out and figure things out. Maybe I'll just need the four weeks. But either way, I'm taking at least four weeks off. Uh, so we, uh, I have to be prepared for that. I'm going to be working hard until then. Old Blue's been doing really well for me. Uh, it's been doing great. I really like the new lights on the truck. They, they're really bright. Uh, definitely, you'll definitely see me coming. I'm not as impressed with the fender lights. I addressed this a little bit before, I think. Uh, I thought they'd be brighter, but they're not as bright as the roof lights. But close to it. I don't think it really matters that much. I guess I was just expecting them to be like super bright, but they do their job and that's all that really matters, right? So they do their job and they look much better, look a lot better. And uh, next on the list is the uh, bunk side marker lights uh, when it comes to lights. We'll see. Like I said, right now I'm not, uh, uh, I'm in the business of making money for the next few months and not spending anything. I already bought that uh, panel for my brake lights because I thought that I needed to replace it. Turns out my dad just fixed my old one. I didn't need the other ones, but since I have it, I gotta get those installed sometime. I need to get a custom piece of steel built for it. I might wait to do that till summer now. Just because, you know, every dollar I make right now, all my profit I wanna put away. Uh, I don't really wanna be building a custom bracket right now and installing that. I'll probably just keep that in my shop and I make that a summer project or something once I get back on the road after uh, after everything's said and done. We'll see. I, I'm too tired to make those decisions right now. Thanks for joining me today, everybody. I really appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, looking at my analytics of my last video, there's still about 40% of you 
who watched that video who aren't subscribed. 40% of my views were from non-subscribers. And I'm glad you're here. Appreciate the view. But if you don't mind, it's free. Uh, go down below my video on YouTube there. Hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. Helps me out a whole lot. And it uh, doesn't cost you nothing. But uh, a little bit of energy. you got to move the mouse a bit and, and click. Or if you're on your phone, you might have to tap the screen. But I believe in you. <laughs> I'm not asking for much. Uh, if you don't want to, yeah. It's okay. I'm going to go back there on my nice mattress and sleep. I'll see you right here in the morning.